my purpose is personal. I do it for my family, where I come from, and my friends. And if I can represent that every single day, whether it's training, uh, watching film, doing all those little things, you know, it's going to allow me to be motivated and do the best that I can for them. <laughs> family and where I come from, the culture that I grew up in, you know, the humility, respecting your elders, and being thankful for where you're at, are staples of that culture. And you know, no matter what, I always carry that. You gotta get down, those first three steps gotta be pop, 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 and then you can start looking out, okay? So let's go five step drop of the hitch, I'll move you, move you, and then I'll go. Forward, get up. Just 10, good. When I was at Oregon, we always talked about having a purpose in what you do, and that purpose for me will always allow me to be motivated to go out there and work out. It's 15, actually. Looks too easy. Why are you doing back squats? Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this would go chin like on the very top of the bench. There you go. So you get more leverage. There. We can have a, a mantra of win the day. That's how the culture at Oregon is built. The foundation of that is finding ways to improve your standard, improve yourself daily. I think for me, it's continuing that. You know, I, it's been successful for me. Continuing to build off of that and keep that as my foundation, you know, will help me find success at the next level. Three. So don't press, so sit, you have your hands getting too far back. Yeah. Keep them in front. I'll go lighter on the way up. The life lessons that I've been able to gain from these coaches will only help my transition. And I think in terms of being prepared, any athlete that comes out of the University of Oregon will tell you that they feel most prepared because of what the coaches and this program has been able to teach us. Focusing on what's going to make you better is going to help you get to that point where you're going to be able to make that transition a little easier. The best way that I can explain it is finding what you felt was your weaknesses in college and being able to strengthen those so that when you get to the NFL, that weakness has now become a strength. And if you're able to do that, I think it'll help your transition process a little bit. We do a lot of bungee work, developing those fast twitch muscles, being able to take a drop on your center and being able to do that as fast as you can, being able to withstand resistance and other things like that, you know, will only help you develop your, your fast twitch muscles and allow you to be that much quicker. All the things that I've done since I was six or seven years old playing football has now come to this moment. It's an opportunity now to fulfill a dream. It's an opportunity now to go out there and, and see where you are. You're going to go against some of the best players really in the world, and now you have an opportunity to see how good you really are. The best thing you can do is put your best foot forward and, and try to make the most of it. Bro, I'm not, no, no joke, this next year for you is gonna be the weirdest year of your life. Hi.